Hey guys, it's Damien. Uh, this week we're talking about privilege, which is a very arbitrary question. Like, not everyone's gonna have the same answer due to our circumstances, our race, and how we're perceived in society, and also our gender and sex and what have you, like money, how much money you make, what kind of job you have, how do you dress. There's all some sort of privilege that intersects, and also there's the that intersect with being transgender. Now, this is a really hard topic for me because, surprisingly, as a Latino trans guy, I'm starting to pass as white, which was a consequence I didn't really think about when I changed my last name to Coppersand from Quiroga Perales, due to the fact that I wasn't very close to my family and I thought things were going south real fast, and also to have something that goes with Damien more than my, last, than my previous last name, which isn't very compatible with many names. So now I'm somewhat perceived as white because in the Latino community or people that speak Spanish as a first language tend to speak to me in English because I guess it's hard for them to decide that I am Spanish or can't even understand Spanish. I guess because the last name when they see it they expect someone that's kind of like white maybe half Native American but they don't really expect someone that speaks Spanish fluently as a first language. So there's that, but on the meantime, while I'm somewhat less perceived as a Latino person due to the last name, there's some people that still realize that I am Hispanic anyway, because there's some features in my face that they, there's no denying that. I don't know what they see, but at work, when I first started, a lot of people there are Latino working at Chipotle, so people do ask me, hey listen, where are you from? Are you from Dominican Republic, Ecuador, or Peru? And my country is like so generally unheard of, so they never really guess right and have to tell them I'm from Bolivia instead of all these places that they tend to guess. So there's that. Um, now that I'm perceived as male, I haven't really received any negative connotations for that. But what I have noticed is that people take me a lot more seriously when I'm talking. Before it was like, now you have no idea what to have when you're talking about computers. Now when I'm actually at the store and talking about things, they will actually actually take my advice and listen to me. Because I remember my boss who just moved to an apartment, you know, actually at a new house, asked me for uh, advice about like Wi-Fi, how big the range is, is this a good product, and I advised them how the best way to go about it. and always check the description and all those reviews before buying something on Amazon. So I'm taking it a little more seriously and I am still, I'll, surprisingly I'm still allowed to like smile at children because like I see children on the subway and I'm just, like, I give them a smile, parents don't really say anything, they just look at me, they don't give me any dirty looks like I'm gonna cradle rob or something or like some pedophile or look at me like that. And sometimes, like very occasionally, when I go to the store, depending where I am in New York City, there's some places that are very wary of Latinos and African American people, especially the men. Sometimes, like very rarely, I would go into a store and I would be followed, especially in like those dollar stores that are run by um, Chinese immigrants. They will sometimes, I find like at the corner of my eye, I will see them like stalking me because I guess seeing me in a tank top and but not really like, I don't really like get those crazy hairstyles that look like I'm like some teenage thug or something, but they do look at me as if I could be a potential problem and I'm probably going to rob them because I guess in, in that instance they do recognize what a Latino looks like. So I have like privilege that it's not, it doesn't work for me in all places. So there's like this whole privilege thing going around concerning race because some people don't even know what Latinos look like. And sometimes I could be mistaken for white, so sometimes I do have that white privilege that a lot of people are complaining about in the trans community. The white privilege where you're acceptable, you know, in this white supremacist society. And I feel very uncomfortable being perceived as white because I have a very negative uh, experience with that. Especially after Donald Trump was like, just recently in the media saying like, these dirty uh, Mexicans, which don't, which isn't like implied to be to just, uh, just limited to the Mexican population in the United States with the immigrants that are coming here, but to the whole Latino race. So now I'm just sitting there like, he's not just making fun of me. He's making fun of everyone that's Latino that who's actually hardworking and like stereotyping us to the to the max and. 
I just feel really crappy about that because we're the type of people that will do jobs that a lot of people will not take. Like, have you ever seen this documentary, A Day in the Life Without a Mexican? Everybody's like lost and nobody wants to do the jobs like harvesting crops at like local plantations in California where this uh, documentary was set. And, like, they're all like, oh, if they wanted something, they were going to be charged double what the Mexican counterparts would have like charged them for like babysitting, changing tires and all this very hard labored work. Nobody wants to do those things. Not even like, even if like with the market crashing and like the economy being what it is, nobody wants to take these jobs. The Mexicans are really hard working people and I understand that. While I'm not Mexican, but as uh, Latinos, we are hard working people. We wanted to come here for a better life. That's why my parents come here to give me a better life. And I'm grateful for that because had I transitioned in my country, it's, it wouldn't have turned out right. I, you probably wouldn't have heard of me and uh, it w would have been a gigantic mess. I would have been, if I didn't pass, it would have been a big no, no. I probably would have been murdered and no police investigation would have happened because transgender people are a big stigma in Latino society because we're a very religious group and we tend to have this logic of God does not make mistakes and you are born the way you are for a reason and there's no changing that you're always going to be your assigned sex so it's hard and I'm very grateful to have a slightly more privilege than those in South America who I feel for I completely understand but the only problem I have is I can never change my birth certificate. So there's that. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all I have to say about privilege. So I hope this helps. If you have any questions, just leave in the comments below. And uh, I hope you and you guys enjoy your weekend. It's almost August. I can't believe it. So yeah, peace.